Hello, I'm making this video for my father. Um, this is going to be a tutorial for using a stream deck as a button box for iRacing. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website. Um, I'll have the links down in the description for everything that you're going to need. You're going to hit download, continue with download, and you want to go ahead and download that and install it. I'm not going to do it because I already have it. Okay. Um, next thing you're going to, want to do is once you get that set up, it's going to look like this. And each one of these buttons right here is going to be um, a button on your actual stream deck. Okay. So, and then these things on the side right here are your sources that you can use. And then as soon as you drag these onto your button, it's going to be there on your actual button physically. Um, I don't have my camera, so I can't show you it going on there. But this button right now is physically on my stream deck. But I'm not using this one. Um, but we'll go over that a little bit more in a minute. Next thing you want to do is click the link in the description for this website. And you want to go ahead and get this. I think you're going to have to sign up. Yeah. So you can set up with Google or if you have Discord, you can sign up with your Discord. I think that's what I did. Um, once again, I already have it downloaded, so I'm not going to show you how I did it. Um, so once you get that installed, you want to have uh, a new tab of these. It's going to be down all the way at the bottom. Okay. And then you're going to have your pit stop options, your end car options, chat, sessions, stuff, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay. Some of these require, I think an end car requires it. Yeah, some of these require VJoy, which I don't know what that is. Um, I think it's a secondary program. And that's for stuff like, this is stuff that I don't do. I'm an oval racer. So maybe the only thing I would mess with on here is brake bias. Uh, but yeah, none of that's uh, my stuff. So I, I don't really look too far into it. If that's something you need, you're on your own, sorry. But yeah, so to use these, you just drag them over, click over here, drag them, and then each one of them will have a function within within them. So you can do like all your tires, your left fronts, right fronts, left rears, right rears, whole left side, whole right side, just the fronts, just the rears, etc., etc., etc. Okay. Um, you can do a refuel windshield uh windshield tear off i think i think guess that's for the helmet fast repairs add fuel change your compounds if you're doing like formula racing um that's just a few examples um each one of these you can fully customize it all you want put it here put it there this is a chat so whatever you type in here um uh, you're in the way Whenever you press that button on your stream deck, that will be sent out to the uh, iRacing chat, just like that. Um, kind of give you an example of what kind of a built profile looks like. Here's the profile I use. They all say offline right now because I'm not actually in iRacing. Once you get in iRacing, it will show up. Um, but yeah, this is, you know, change all tires, change my, just my lefts, just my rights, quick repair. Um, this is for Discord. Whenever I press this, it's going to mute my microphone in Discord. Means, you know, get the dogs barking and whatnot. This is for my media, uh, you know, Spotify, whatnot. This is a, also, this is not part of um, what we just installed, the iRacing IT. Uh, that is going to be under system, multimedia. Yeah, so all I did was just drag that over here. Then, yeah, get rid of that. Um, and then I got my Defin for Discord, and this is a, a button to open the Butt Kicker app, which I have a Butt kick, Kicker. And if you wanted to know how to do that, um, you're gonna do this open here with the rocket, okay? And you want to add app file click right here if you don't know where it is a good way to figure it out 
Let's go over here to your search bar, type in butt kicker. Uh, if it's right here, you can press open file location. If not, you can just right click on it, open file location, and then you can copy this just by clicking up here. You press control C or you can just right click, copy, and close this out. Go here, paste it, and right click on it, paste it if you want. Press enter, and there it is. Click on it, open, then your butt kicker's linked. So every time you press that button on your uh, stream deck, it opens it up. Same thing with, I use eye overlay. I did the same thing with eye overlay, same steps. Um, different path, obviously. That's my path. Um, and this is for metal. This was a hotkey button right here. Okay, uh, and you can click to assign it. So next button I will press. Every time I press that on the stream deck, the letter A is pressed on my keyboard. Um, but for me, my metal is shift and then the left bracket. And if you don't like how this looks, you can also change the emblem. Um, set, I think it's this one, set from file. Yeah, so I downloaded this a while ago. Um, I don't know where I downloaded this from, though. Um, but I have the icon in here for metal. I downloaded this just off the web, like uh, searching it on Google. And then... Now it's got the metal, um, and if you don't know what metal is, it's for clipping, um, recording, so you don't have to record all the time. And if you don't like that, it says the shift thing right here, you can just erase that, and it looks nice and clean. Um, you can also add whatever you want, like, um, I'll show you how you can launch iRacing from your stream deck. So, here. This is the open thing. I use iRacing through um, Steam. So I'll just go here. Or I'll, I'll show it how everyone else uses it because I'm weird. Okay, iRacing UI. Okay, typed it in just like that. Open file location. You get the UI. You can also do the website. Um, I think you would want to use the website button for that though. Okay, um, so I'm going to copy this. And then here, here, enter, iRacing UI, open. And now, every time I press that button, my iRacing will open up. Okay. My, my Stream Deck's on my... Yeah, you know, I'll click it. Stream Deck's on my cockpit, so... Pressed it. Now it's opening up. Simple as that. Okay, now get out of my way. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is like fully customizable. They have a whole bunch of apps that you can look at. Um, download, customize everything. Some of these, yeah, a lot of these cost money. Some of them are free. Um, but yeah, it's pretty simple, st pretty straightforward once you start playing with it. Um, and like I said, fully customizable. So if you need any help, just uh, leave a comment or figure it out. I don't know. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully that helps whoever needs help with it. Goodbye.